Hi, my name is Makoto Nakano. I am a professor of accounting and finance at Hitotsubashi University Business School. I'm teaching corporate finance. Recently, I have interest in risk-taking behavior of Japanese corporations and its economic consequences. Today, I'd like to show you some interesting data about Japanese corporations. Many Japanese firms are accumulating huge amount of cash. This graph shows the ratio of cash and cash equivalent divided by total assets. That means cash on balance sheet. The average cash percentage is about 20%. If you look at international comparison data, you can easily find that Japan is one of the richest countries in the world in corporate sector. Let me give you an example. Nintendo is a famous Japanese multinational consumer electronics and video game company. The cash percentage of Nintendo is approximately 23%. When you have cash at hand, you can choose how to use it. First, you can use it in risk-taking investment, such as capital expenditure, R&D investment, and M&A deal. Second, you can use it for payout. That includes both paying dividends for shareholders and stock buyback. And the last choice is to keep it as cash inside the firm. This graph shows the evolution of capital expenditure. Capital expenditures by Japanese firms are decreasing, especially after global financial crisis. This graph shows the trend of payout policy. During the global financial crisis, total amount of payout decreased temporarily. But after that, total amount of payout is increasing. What kind of companies receive higher valuation in capital market? Those companies investing in risk-taking option or paying dividend? In order to answer the question, we form some portfolios. This matrix shows market valuation of firms listed on Tokyo Stock Exchange during year 2000 to 2010. Market variation is measured by market to book ratio, in other words, price to book ratio. Low and high payout policy is horizontally classified. Low and high risk taking is vertically classified. Low left sell is low risk taking and low payout portfolio. Upper right sell is high risk taking and high payout group. Which group has higher valuation in capital market? The answer is high risk taking and high payout group. Those companies invested enough amount for growth and paid out less of earnings for stockholders. In contrast, low risk taking and low payout marks the lowest marked to book ratio. Keeping the cash inside makes the company financially stable. Default risk would be lower if you were cash rich. However, we need to take the risk for the growth of the company. Fortunately, many of Japanese corporations are cash rich, so they have the potential for the future growth.